My name is William Charles, and I would like to welcome you all to this fantastic inauguration ceremony. You just heard the hymn of Charles, wonderfully played by the Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra. So, my name is William Charles, and my father was one of the first Scottish emigrants to enter the Gothenburg Harbour in 1722. Here he met his wife, Inga Orre, and only 26 years after arriving, I turned up. William Chalmers, the son of Younger. Ta -da! And even though I, I was born here in Gothenburg, I spent most of my childhood in England where I studied very well. I got back to Gothenburg at the age of 21 and was then one of the founders of the Royal Bachelors Club, the club still existing today, situated a few hundred meters away. So I had seen Sweden, I had seen England, but I wanted to see the world. Therefore, I was thrilled when Colin Campbell, an old friend of my father's, one of the founders of the Swedish East India Company. He said, William, would you like to go to China? Yes, I want to go to China. So I took the first best boat and went away. But what did the East India Company do? Well, they took at the time a very large boat and they put it into the Gothenburg Harbor. And then they started to fill this boat with Swedish coal contract products. It could be iron, timber, weaponry, and clothing. And then the journey began like this. And we came to Spain and Cadiz, which is represented by Germany today. Hola! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I have these Swedish products. Would you like to trade those for silver coins, often made out of Mexican silver? That's a very good idea, actually. It would be a pleasure to help you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the journey continued like this to Macau and Canton in China, represented by Stanford Ulrich. Ni hao! Aha! <laughs> it's roughly the same letters, yes. <laughs> so I have these silver coins. Would you like to trade those for, for the Chinese product, silver, porcelain, herbs, etc.? Certainly, William, of course we would. Yes! This is what we today call a business model. And this business model took quite some time to do. It could take two years back and forth. But it was also extremely profitable. One could make up to 50% on invested capital, and that is pretty good even in our days. So when I got to China, I decided to stay. And I became the Swedish East India supercargo. And the word supercargo is not very often used nowadays. So I thought we should all train and say it together. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, very good. <laughs> now we try. <laughs> I think we do it one more time, and then we really do it. Well, okay. Practice is everything, right? So <laughs> William Chuck. So, what does a supercar board do? Well, it was I who negotiated with the Chinese. And this I did every day for almost 10 years. Then suddenly I received a letter, what you nowadays call an email. And when I read this letter, it said that Mr. Niklas Sahlgren had passed away. He had previously been the chairman of the East India Company, and a bit further down it said they wanted me to be the new chairman. So I said it down. I left China and went back to Sweden. And when I came to Gothenburg, I could see what, what this Mr. Sovereign had done. He had done two very good things. Firstly, he donated a large sum of money to the creation of a new hospital. And then secondly, he gave that hospital his own name. And that's how you're being remembered. So I thought I should do just the same. So I took my fortune and I split it into two halves. The first half should go to the Sovereign's hospital, since it was a very good idea. The second half should go to the creation of a new school for craft and art. It should have my name, Chalmers, and my motto, Avancé, which means moving forward. And here we are today, more than 200 years later. Chalmers has more than 1,000 researchers, 3,000 employees, 10,000 students, and perhaps the most modern microscopy of the world, and the greatest people here today, right? So let's give us all an applause for that. So now I've been talking a lot, now we will listen to some words of all these fantastic people uh, in order to, to make this uh, connect. And you see uh, there are a lot of ribbons around the necks of people and I think you all have ribbons as well. So what we will do now as we ask, we will start to connect and tie the bands to, to illustrate the fantastic network of research that we're creating in Sweden. So and, and we've done that for, for all, all these, uh, we will also connect everybody in the crowd and create one joint. Are, are we ready? Yeah. Yes, that's good. So then we will start with uh, the President of Chalmers, Professor Stefan Mexer. 
What's your view on Charmers and the microscope? <laughs> yeah, what's my view on Charmers and the microscope? Thank you, Vivian. Yeah. You look to be in a very good shape, almost 300 years old. So <laughs> it's nice to see you. I just got the new suit. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, it's a very nice day, of course. And, and as being uh, the president of Charmers, I can tell you, being a university president contains days of challenge and headaches. But it also contains days of excitement and joy. And today is such a day of excitement and joy. I'm happy of several reasons uh, now being able to take part in inaugurating our new, very advanced electron microscope. First of all, of course, as, as being university president, I understand the importance of advanced tools, instruments, and research infrastructures for, for the scientific scientists to be able to move the borders and to understand and investigate things that have not been possible by formal instruments. So that is in itself of course extremely important. In my own research background, I'm, I'm not a microscopist, microscopist by any means. I'm a professor of solid state electronics, but I've been working with electronic materials and with carbon structures. And that we so I understand the importance of microscopy and, and in several several times in my research career, I have taken important steps in understanding the materials I was studying by the help of Eva and others in, in studying and understanding what is going on in, in the material. So indeed, it is enormously important. So for uh, our research groups here at Charles, of course, for our international collaborators and in a broader sense for the scientific community, it's of course extremely important that we are moving forward in developing the tools and thereby being able to investigate what we've not been able to do before. I would here like to take the opportunity to also acknowledge the uh, collaboration between uh, EBA group and, and the research, research, uh, research groups here at Chalmers uh, using uh, the mi microscope with the, uh, the uh, colleagues at, at the uh, outstanding international laboratories, but also with GL and the other companies being part of, of actually uh, making it possible to put uh, this very, very advanced tool here at Chalmers that we certainly open new opportunities for our researchers, but also for our collaborating uh, partners. I will also take the opportunity here to uh, express our appreciation uh, for the uh, uh, generous financial support from Pinsonalis Wallenberg Foundation for, for part of the investment here that made it possible to put this very advanced instrument here. So it's a day of excitement and joy. Now we have a microscope that will open new opportunities and uh, I will really look forward to following what kind of result that will come out of this. It will be really, really exciting to see that. So Eva, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the uh, physics department and also congratulations to, to the international scientific community that we are now having a new important instrument. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I also want to move on to the Department of Physics and Professor Thomas Nielsen who might say something about the CIFA level microscope. Thank you very much. Yes, I will do that, but I will start out with trying to, to find this network here. <laughs> Now we're talking engineering on a high level. of a Chalmers-wide infrastructure, everyone working with research infrastructure, and I mean it's meant with myself, but indeed I mean for physics rather, uh, we all know that infrastructure is a challenge. It's a challenge in, in funding, uh, funding issues, it's a challenge in keeping at the front of research, but also in governance and 
and uh, CML is an infrastructure that is very uh, efficiently used, overshadowed by many researchers for many departments. And uh, now we have a real gem in the collection of instrumentation, and uh, it will be very exciting to see all the results coming out from the next concur with Stefan's uh, acknowledgements and hopes for the future. Thank you. Thank you. We can uh, look forward to, to the company that has been supporting us with, with the instrument and the quick shift we are. So good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Fuyama of GAO. Uh, could I uh, a few words uh, on behalf of GAO? So thank you for your kind invitation to the uh, uh, great ceremony uh, to be here and uh, to celebrate uh, a special, uh, special occasion with you. And uh, it's an honor celebrate uh, this uh, special inauguration. I'm very happy. And it's an honor to join us. And uh, as you know, the, uh, last year, <coughs> the, we celebrated the uh, 150 year anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations between the Sweden and Japan. Uh, there is some many, many history and long history. So today, just uh, New history has started between Chairman's and the GAO. I promise and uh, I think, I hope, we make a, a big effort and uh, make, do our best to have a long relationship with, uh, uh, between the Chairman's and the GAO. So best wish for uh, continued success. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we will continue to one of your colleagues, Masashi Watsuki. Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Masashi Watsuki. Uh, uh, our relation between the chairman, uh, I think uh, more than five years ago, we just started this uh, project with uh, Eva uh, Eva san. Uh, so finally, uh, she asked me to make some special card on a microscope. Mm -hmm. Usually, your microscope never used to wait. But <laughs> you can see there is a red color. She said this color is the same as Japan flag color. So I accept and I asked the, my boss to change the color. <laughs> so this, uh, there are so a long relation. Uh, Joe has already uh, in more than 8,000 years. Uh, every year we uh, uh, produce uh, more than uh, 2,500 units worldwide. So on the worldwide, we have more than uh, 70,000 units to contribute uh, world science. I think uh, our relation between uh, Chalmers and Joe is a long relation, and also in the future, we have a good relation and uh, contribute Young scientists. Yesterday, uh, in, in Japan, I, I'm sorry, in the worldwide, uh, microscope uh, number of microscope is decreasing. I think uh, uh, maybe one of the some price problem. However, uh, 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 yesterday I saw the many young uh, scientists uh, in the dinner. So I hope uh, Chalmers uh, becoming the center of the microscope center, then uh, educate young uh, scientists. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please follow up to the Yeah. Eva. Yeah. Today we are talking about the new instrument, and uh, this uh, instrument has many advanced features uh, which have state of the art capabilities, or offer state of the art capabilities, um, for which the two operation workers are responsible for. And what is an operation director? I mean, uh, many people know how it's working. Uh, but an operation director is just a device which um, produces the same operation, which limits the resolution, but with the opposite sign. And that's the way how we can compensate or counter balance this uh, original operation of the opposite sign. And that's the reason why we can improve the resolution of the instrument. And that's how we do, how we do it. And we have a long
continue to the, uh, the area of advanced material science and the connection to that area. We're tying pants already. Very good. So, on the behalf of all of the material science community at Harvard, I want to express my great pleasure of being part of this. This is really a fantastic tool for us to understand and characterize the materials we already have, but also to understand their function and how we can make better materials in the future. And I think this goes very well in mind with the, with the William Chalmers idea of exploring the world. You know, because you can explore the word, world in two different ways. You can explore it on the big level, travel the continents, or you can explore the tiniest part, which is what we get the ability to do with this new mic people. Uh, but I also think that it will have an impact on the big world, because this is going to make us even stronger and even more interesting for collaboration all over the world. So congratulations, Eva, on making this reality. We will move on to the Excellence Initiative now, and Professor Boa Mesa. Thank you. Uh, and so I am joining the others to, to congratulate Ian, of course, for this fantastic uh, uh, achievement, getting this MIT semester. Uh, I typically say that the, the, the blood inside the, the, the students and postdocs, the PhD students and postdocs, but without uh, sort of appropriate infrastructure, the only blood could have made it. So we also need a skeleton. So investment into infrastructure is extremely important for the university, for the faculty, and so I'm, I'm happy that we are able to put this together. Uh, for all the nanoscientists, and I mean, as you all know, of course, nanoscience started in the heat to see things that the models see. And uh, today, this is kind of the common that we happen to be bombs and monsters, and so you know, adding to this is extremely important. the connection and collaboration with the Gothenburg University. And uh, Julia has another presentation. Thank you, William. First, I would like to congratulate Eva, and I think Chalmers as well. And I feel very honored to be here actually representing Gothenburg <coughs> University, but not only the fact to represent Gothenburg University, but also I represent the other side, that is the life science, that we also use, use electromicroscopes. And my job in the Gothenburg University is actually running a research infrastructure that actually integrate both light and electromicroscopy. I'm really happy to see that we have such a wonderful and powerful microscope really, really close to our faculty. And that I also hope that not only materials but also life science have the possibility to use this machine that I just saw the whole list there. I'm really, really looking forward to be able to, to see what this machine can give us, as well to see how we can solve problems in terms of healthcare, and not just in materials, but also see tissue, cells, that they are wonderful under the microscope as well, and I think this machine is going to be wonderful for that. Thank you very much, and again, congratulations. Thank you. And we, we move to the European Network for Electron Microscopy and Professor Rafael Tunin for Kosovo. Now we will have a, a transition of bands over to that side. You may, you may see I have several uh, ribbons here. Um, by birth I'm British, but just to make sure I stay in Europe, uh, I have an extra one. <laughs> uh, so first of all, uh, I'd like to uh, very much congratulate not only Eva, but also Chalmers University and the Wallenberg Foundation and the microscope manufacturers for their uh, vision to support scientific infrastructure, not only in Chalmers University, but also in Sweden and also across Europe. Uh, together with Chalmers University, we in Europe are part of the HESWI network, which links together scientific infrastructure in electron microscopy across almost 20 different partners uh, across Europe. And this commitment requires each of the partners uh, of the network to have excellent infrastructure and also excellent expertise to operate uh, these uh, electron microscopes. 
and in Flanders in particular, there is not only excellent scientific infrastructure, but also uh, a wonderful group of young scientists working alongside EVA to keep the microscopes operating. So uh, one of my hopes is that this support for the electron microscopes here in Chalmers represents a longer term vision and that microscopy groups will be supported uh, for many years to come with future investments as well. Uh, one other point I should make is that uh, through electron microscopy, uh, Chalmers University has become extremely visible internationally and this is as a result of Eva's very hard work uh, traveling around the world and, and uh, communicating the excellent science that we carry out here. So this new microscope is a real lighthouse, a flagship, which I hope will shine for Chalmers and for Sweden and for Europe in the future. So many congratulations, Eva. Thank you very much. And now we to the International Federation of Societies for Microscopy and Professor Angus Kirkland. Thank you. Um, firstly, congratulations, Ava. It's a fantastic instrument, and I know that there will be wonderful science coming out of this. Uh, I'm here today with two hats to wear. Firstly, as Professor of Oxford and Director of one of our national centres, I've had the pleasure of collaborating with Ava for a number of years now over a number of projects, and I'm absolutely convinced that she is the right person drive this forward, and that this is the right institution to help with that. Yeah. Uh, having collaborated with Ava, I can tell you that not only have we had um, great science, but we've also had great fun doing science, and enjoyable science, in my view, is the right kind of science to be done, providing results um, meet specifications. My second hat to wear is as President of the International Federation of Societies for Microscopy, and you may or may not know that in addition to her day job, running the centre here, developing instruments and building infrastructures. Ava is also the general secretary of that society. And we've now started to work quite extensively together to try and promote electron microscopy, and in fact promote microscopy in a general sense on a global stage. And a key part of that, which Ava has been very heavily involved in, is promoting microscopy and career development for young students and young research scientists. At the recent international um, Congress held in Sydney at the end of last year. Ava organised a day for young microscopists, and that day was a series of talks, presentations, question and answer sessions, and roundtable discussions, uh, which included two Nobel laureates. So that's really a demonstration of her commitment to not only building infrastructures that are visible on the world stage, but also developing the young people who will run those infrastructures way into the future. So many congratulations, Ava. It's a fantastic machine. I look forward to seeing wonderful science. Thank you. It's a little bit of running, but yeah, I think that's good. Olympics is coming up. So now we will move to uh, back to Japan and University of Tokyo and uh, Professor Yuichi. First of all, I would like to uh, congratulate the paper of the for establishing of the very advanced microscope. Uh, uh, I have known Professor Eva Olson for over when she first visited Japan in 1988. Yeah. And she did, she did a very nice work, particularly the PNG city work, especially that line. Then University of Tokyo are uh, recently at the uh, uh, official started in the collaboration with uh, Eva's group in Chalmers University of uh, Technology. And then actually, uh, I visited uh, several institutes in Sweden in two years ago. The host was uh, Eva at the time, mm -hmm. and this was programmed by GSPS and KBA program. GSPS is the Japan Science Promotion Society, which is the uh, uh, largest uh, funding agency in uh, Japanese government. And Eva also uh, has been invited several times in the Tokyo by this program. And we organized a very nice conference, uh, 
workshop, a joint workshop on microscopy and uh, microscience. Some of you are uh, we are attending this meeting, and uh, I remember that 16 or uh, 17 are people uh, joined uh, this workshop from Shalmaz. And among them, uh, eight uh, there were eight uh, Shalmaz faculty members at the time. So this was a very good uh, event to start cooperation between two universities. And actually, from uh, this year, uh, uh, one of my, our, our researchers, uh, Shun Kondo, Dr. Kim Shun Kondo, uh, will join uh, Eva Guru from uh, next, next month by uh, this, this forum. And I found Gabriela. Gabriela used to be a, a, the postdoc in University of uh, She is a pioneer in EPP measurement. She had, uh, he had already uh, joined Eva Guru. I really hope that uh, this uh, wonderful play innovation will be uh, the, the good opportunity to continue uh, the cooperation further between two universities. Uh, congratulations, Thank you. Neighbor, and thank you very much. Thank you. Now we move to the US, I think, and uh, the Arizona State University.
and uh, Chalmers, uh, and the first one is the Idea League. And the question to the people from Chalmers is, do you know what the Idea League is? And you answer probably no, so let me explain. <laughs> yeah. Idea stands for an initiative which was funded by four partners. The I stands for Imperial College London, the D stands for Delft University, the E stands for ETH Zurich, and yes, you guessed it, A for Aachen. Yeah? So Imperial didn't perform, so we kicked Imperial out, and we looked for a new uh, prestigious partner, and this is uh, Chalmers University, and the University of Milan uh, was also at it. And uh, as one of the activities, and this is my responsibility at Aachen, we're actually running joint doctoral schools, and uh, we started the doctoral school on advanced characterization methods uh, last year in fall at Aachen, that the students had an opportunity to go to ETH Zurich. And now this week, they're actually here at Chalmers. Uh, and uh, I, from what I understand, they're enjoying a really very fruitful week and a week in which they can learn about the techniques and the specialities here at Aachen. Uh, no, at Chalmers, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My second head at Aachen <laughs> is that I'm actually the chairman of area of material science and engineering. And we have very strong links with your area of advanced in material engineering. And I am actually on the advisory board of your area of advanced. I had many fruitful uh, interactions with Alexander uh, Matic and now Maria Abrahamson. And I think uh, this is also a very inspiring collaboration for both sides and a very powerful links uh, which we will extend in future. And the most fun collaboration, obviously, is between our electron microscopy centers. So together with uh, Rafael, I'm also one of the directors of the Ansuska Center. And I think uh, it's a very nice collaboration between the two leading centers here, uh, Chalmers and Jülich. Uh, uh, and we will certainly expand this in future and have many more opportunities uh, to work together here. So thank you very much for having me here. Back to the US and uh, Professor Robert Sinclair. Thank you, William. Please let me address my remarks to you. Do you see what you have started? <laughs> I see the start. Only the start. Did, did you know when you started this that the electron had not been invented? <laughs> I saw it, but always in big groups. And did you know that you could get these electrons out? And in your travels to China, did you think of going to Japan, where they would make the electrons into an electron microscope? <laughs> well, it took nine months to get to China, so. Unfortunately, not. And did you know that your institution would hire a woman physics professor, which therefore by definition is already smarter than the rest of us. <laughs> and did you know that she would be a, a local lass, a Gothenburg gal, and someone who would lead the world in electron microscopy? Did you know about that? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so, William, as you Go back to your cryo sleep to resurface on the next occasion. Please be very careful because when you are sleeping there, cryo, there is now cryo EM as well. <laughs> and they might come and slip a little bit off from you and look at it in their electron microscope to find out what you're made of. <laughs> made of good fortune. So, <laughs> congratulations. William Chalmers and everyone associated uh, with your history. Thank you very much. And we will now move to, uh, to Max Planck Institute and Professor Dr. Ferdi Schutz. Yes, wait a minute. Eva asked me to say a few words here. The first thing I was reminded to in this ceremony was like launching ceremony of a ship. And then I thought, gee, Crashing a bottle of champagne against the microscope <laughs> to stay the steel color would not be proper. And wishing always a hand of water under the keel would also not be so nice for an electron microscope. So I had to come up with something else. So I wish you always a good vacuum in your column, always a good flux of electron in your lenses, and 8,760 hours of operation per year. <laughs> but what I wish you most dedicated and brilliant scientists like you and the ones in this room.
room sitting in front of the machine and it produces fantastic results. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And, and before we round off this and, and uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> we almost lost one. <laughs> before we now round off uh, this part and we connect all ourselves into, into this network. I think uh, the president of Charles would like to say a few last words on the inauguration. Oh, thank you. <laughs> schedule here, who will be the last one to connect the network? And then we can do maths on how many ways we could have done it. I think it's at least three. Do we have a few loose ends here? Yes, we need more nodes. Could you connect the one? Is everything connected? Any loose ends? No? Oh, there is one loose. But this side is fine. This one is connected. Yes. Good. So do we have a loop? I don't want to have an open end somewhere. I want it all to be. There is a loop. to officially inaugurate the Joan Mono Neo Arm 200F. <laughs> Thank you.